Hi there, I'm Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Animation. Today I'm going to show you how to design a cushion in 3D Max. So let's get started with this lesson. I'll take a box in front viewport. Size is uh, no matter, you can take any size and there is no measurement right now. So I'll just take it just by this. Yeah. I'll press F4 on my keyboard to see the segments. I, I don't want to see this grid. I'll press G on my keyboard to remove this grid. I'll go to modify. I'll increase the segments because uh, the process we are using to make uh, this modeling uh, will use a cloth modifier, which is the dynamic uh, way of doing the modeling. Generally, uh, we don't use that, but uh, it's a very uh, shortcut way to uh, get all uh, cloth related uh, things. So I'll just increase the segments, say 10, 10 and maybe 2 something, yes. So now I'll just go to modifier list, I'll take cloth and everything is fine. I don't want so much of gravity because I want uh, it should uh, stay standstill over here because if we keep it like this the pillow will fall down so I don't want I'll just make right click I'll take a zero and everything else is fine I'll go to object properties and this is what the box is and which we are seeing over here I'll just select this box and say cloth and preset I'll take a silk because never wet you can take default or cotton like that but right now I'll take a silk if you see these parameters like if I take burlap the UV bend changes so if I take silk or something like that it also changes that means it is more uh, pro towards uh, bending uh, the uh, object so now uh, pressure I'll take this pressure as inside and close cloth volume that means the object should close object should not be you know open or polygon should not be uh, any uh, detached or something like that so you should be uh, make sure that so pressure will be some around 2 or 1.5 it will also fine so I'll now say ok just say simulate and this is what the magic is so Fine, I'll say I'll stop local simulate. Everything is fine. So now I'll just uh, convert this into polygon, right? I'll just say polygon. Now I'll add turbo smooth. Turbo smooth one. It's fine. So now I'll just delete this one now I'll go and select this middle edge I'll do chamfer now right click you can say chamfer right the way select this vertex and perfectly chamfered I'll say control Z I want bigger something like this can be done yeah select the polygon select this polygon and right click I'll say extrude I don't want realistic shade it I'll make this viewport bigger alt W slightly take inside and then again do second step so now I'll check this one by adding turbo smooth absolutely fine no problem I'll just make it off select this vertex and now I'll say see if you see I'll press F3 wireframe now these vertex are selected what we want because cushion is generally slightly inside where the uh, button stitches are there so generally this uh, button is there and the stitches are there so I'll say soft selection 
so i'll press w on my keyboard i'll just push it inside like this press f3 again mm, fine again i'll just come down with the pressure let's fall off if you see i'll come down the shade changes the red is maximum pressure that is uh, influence and the blue is uh, very less and white is no influence do like this i'll just check with this turbo smooth great slightly you can make it like this vortex show and results slightly i'll scale it slightly uh yes this is fine yeah now if you see this i'll just press f4 see this slight wrinkles are there still i'm not happy because we want stitches over here the seam we can say that i'll just off this turbo smooth now i'll press f4 i'll open this editable poly click on edge i'm selecting this edge i don't want that soft selection so i'll say off now i want to select the whole segment over here so the shortcut is loop and i want extrude oh wow not so much of extrude i'll say right click 0 0 little bit of yes and plus 1 yes what is happening over here yes this much so sorry again i'll go to extrude don't want this much say okay now just check with this turbo smooth as yes, this is fine this is what the sharp edge is there this is fine yes so now i'll just take a spear i'll say auto grid now you can place directly on this one so i'll press r to make a little bit downwards like this and scale from uniform uniform scale maybe like this because we want stitch to be visible yes and slightly yes so now uh, the modeling is done so in next part we'll do a material uh, with pre material we will do the silk material will will be a reflective of a two two way side so if you enjoyed my tutorial do let me know and if you have any doubts also do let me know and thanks for watching my tutorial always enjoy learning